Hello, this is Mrs. Bobby, and before we get into proportions in our module books, I'm going to show you how to do a proportion that is already set up. And then we'll work on one word problem, how to make a proportion out of the word problem. So first thing we have to look at is diagonal multiplication. So we're going to circle our diagonals. It looks like a pinwheel or a very sad looking flower. And we're going to multiply the diagonals. So we have 8 times x. You notice how I'm using a dot instead of an x because it looked like 8xx if I didn't do that. And then that's one diagonal. Then we put the others on the other side, 5 times 96. We put these together. 8 times x is just more than 8x. Put those together. And when we do 96 times 5, we get 480. And then we have to divide by the number touching the letter because this means multiplication. We have to solve it with division. We always have to solve it with its opposite. So 8x divided by 8 cancels out. We divide this side by 8. And so we have 480 divided by 8, and we will get 60. So x equals 60. So our missing piece is 60. So now we can look at this one. And we take our diagonals, and we have 6 times w equals 9 times 4. And this is the same setup every time. You pick a diagonal, you put it on one side. You pick another diagonal, you put it on the other side. It does not matter if the 9 times 4 is on this side or on the left. It doesn't matter as long as the 9 and the 4 go together and the 6 and the w go together. We put these together, we get 6w. We put these together, we get 36. We don't put these together and get 94. There's actual math that's happening in between. Then we have to divide both sides by the number that is touching the letter. Remember, the letter is called a variable. A variable is what we call the letter in math. And we get W equals 36 divided by 6 is 6. Our missing piece is that. Moving down to another option. Okay. So we have one more here. We're going to take our diagonals. And we have 3 times y equals 24 times 2, They're both diagonals. Shove them together, 3y equals 48, divide by 3, divide by 3, and we get y equals 16. That's that one. Now, if you weigh 50 pounds on Venus, you weigh 125 on Earth. What do you weigh on Venus if you are 20 pounds on Earth? Okay, let's see what we got. We got 50 pounds on Venus, 125 on Earth. Those two things go together. So we have 50, and I'm just going to put a little V here so we know that's Venus. And I'm going to put 125 because that's Earth. And then what do you weigh on Venus if you weigh 20 pounds on Earth? What other piece of information were we given? We were given 20 pounds on Earth. So then we look, is Earth on top or is Earth on the bottom? And we have 50 is Venus. That's the top. Earth is the bottom. So we are in a ratio of Venus to Earth, Venus to Earth. So we put the 20 on the bottom because it goes with the Earth. Now, there's lots of ways to make proportions. Okay. The diagonals will still be the same. Okay. So then we can just put a big V here to find the missing piece. And we could do our um, cross multiplication again. So we have 125 times V equals 50 times 20. 1,000 equals 125 V divided by 125. So then we're going to take 1,000 and divide it by 125. And we are going to get 8. So we have V equals 8. That means they will weigh 8 pounds on Venus. Okay, 8 pounds on Venus. Now some of you are looking going, what does this mean, LBS? That's the abbreviation for pounds. Now I want you just to take a look at this. Some kids set up proportions differently and it still means the same thing. Notice how I did Venus Earth, Venus Earth. Okay, I kept a pattern. Some kids do Earth the 50 Earth is, sorry, the 50 Venus is to the 125 Earth, see like this, as the 20 
pounds. The missing Venus is to the 20 pounds. So Venus, Earth, Venus, Earth. Look at my diagonal. It's still the same as my 50, 20. So it doesn't really matter. There's four different ways that you can write a proportion. So it's just how you show it. And we'll work on more of that in class. And as always, I love math. And DC.